Que onda? Thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. Yes, I'm leaning forward, otherwise you have this weird lighting. We're working with it, okay? Today we're talking all about how to use the metro in Mexico City. If you're used to taking metros, it's the same as anywhere else. But I can see if you're not used to it that it would be very overwhelming and or intimidating. So we're going to explain it so you can feel more comfortable because it is very economical to use. If you've just arrived at the Benito Juarez International Airport in Mexico City, you're going to want to find door one, which is off to the far left. There's a sidewalk at this door that will take you straight to the metro. You cannot miss it. There's only one way to go. This metro stop is called Terminal Aérea and it's line five or yellow. But now what do you do? How do you know which side to stand on? How do you actually use the metro? Let's go over that. Let's say you're at the Independence Angel, there at the red dot, and you want to go to the National Palace. You could just open Google Maps and put it on public transportation, but sometimes it's not quite accurate, confusing, or you may not have an international phone plan. So you want to find one of these orange M's next to where you currently are. You can see there are several near the Independence Angel. I see this one is closest, so I click on it. It tells me the name of the stop is Insurgentes and that I'm on the pink line or line one. Like I said, I wanna to go to the National Palace. So I open that on the Google Maps. I see the little M and I click on that M so I can see what metro stop that is. I see it's a stop called Socalo on the blue line or line two. So I need to get from pink to blue. Remember, I'm currently at the Insurgentes stop on the pink line. Do you see how off to the far left, the last stop on the pink line is Observatorio? You do not want to stand on that side of the tracks because it's going away from the blue line and we want to go towards it. So we look at the other end of the pink line, which is Pantitlan. That's the side of the tracks we want to wait on. So then we ride the metro until the pink line crosses with the blue. You can see that happens at the Pino Suarez stop there in the middle of the screen. You'll want to get off the metro there and walk and switch to the blue line. You can see our final destination is just one metro stop up. Remember, we're getting off at the Socalo to see the National Palace, but which direction is that? On the map, you can see the last stop going down is Tasqueña. We do not want to go that way. The last stop going up is Cuatro Caminos. So that's the side of the track we want to wait on because it's taking us up and we need to go up one stop. Now that we know how to figure out which direction we're heading, let's talk about the little details. When you're on the street, this is what you're going to be looking for to know that there's a metro stop. When you go down to the metro, you're going to find the ticket window or a machine and buy a ticket for five pesos. Five pesos will get you as many transfers as you want. You don't have to pay again unless you leave the metro station and come back in. They may give you a raffle looking ticket. If so, you insert it into these machines or they might give you a receipt in which you scan it. After you pass through the gate, then you walk and find the direction that you need to go. We already discussed how to determine which direction. While you're actually on the metro, you'll see these signs posted throughout the train with the various stops. As you can see, it shows if a certain stop connects with another train, with the airport, with a bus, etc. There is no announcement or computer screen to tell you what stop you're at. So be sure to watch out the window because the stop will be clearly labeled outside on the wall. If you need to transfer to another line, you're going to look for a big black C for Correspondencia. Yeah. You can see at this particular stop, it connects to line three, which is kind of a lime green color. As you can see, its two directions are Indios Verdes and Universidad. Again, we've covered how to decide which direction to take the metro. 
Whenever you've reached your final destination, you're going to look for the salida or exit sign and exit through those gates. If taking the metro makes you a little nervous and you're a woman, whenever you enter the platform, go to your far right and look for this sign. This train car will only be for women and those under the age of 12. Something else to keep in mind is that it does get pretty warm on the metro and in the station in general. So if you're going to be on there for a while or like you've been running through the airport or you have a lot to carry, you might want to take your hoodie or jacket off first because it is quite toasty. It's also best practice to let elderly, pregnant women or disabled people take a seat if there aren't enough seats for everyone. Whatever you do, don't panic. If you missed your stop, all you have to do is get off at the next stop and then go around to the opposite side and go back a stop. And it's free. Like I said, you don't have to pay again unless you actually leave the metro station and come back in. It can get quite crowded, like shoulder to shoulder. So try to avoid the metro when it's like going to work time and getting off work time, if at all possible. I haven't personally had any trouble on the metro, but I wouldn't leave my wallet or my phone in my back pocket. I would keep it uh, where nobody can pickpocket you. If you have your book bag on, I would probably turn it to the front until you get back off. And the last thing I will say is that down in the metro station, you'll have people selling different things. You can find like electronics, snacks. I don't think I have ever seen a restroom in the metro station. If so, they are very, very hard to find. So go potty before you go. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you would like to learn more about Mexico or follow me on my journey in moving from the US to Mexico, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you next time.